hey guys welcome back to the channel so we'll continue from our last video where we left off by adding a cider to our ppc now let's see how we can use that cider block to launch gc2 instance so as you can see i'm in my ppc console so what i'm going to do next is create subnet so as you remember we've just added the cider we've not created any subnet out of it so let's go to subnet i'm already in that and you can see create subnet so let's just create and we'll follow the normal process i'll give it a name so i'll give it cider to private subnet vpc let's just make sure that it's our aws exam vpc and availability zone i'll say no preference and for cider i'm going to select 10.1.1.0 slash 24 so this will be my private cider block let's close it and let's create another subnet and this will be cider 2 public subnet again for vpc 142 yes that's my aws exam vpc for cider i'm going to do 10.1.2.0 slash 24 so you can see i'm using the cider block of 10.1 which is the new cider block which are associated with my bpc so let's create this one as well so both my subnets are created now i need to make this cider this subnet as a public subnet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the route tables and you can see i created a public route table so i'm going to select it Go to subnet association so you can see all these subnets are not associated they're associated to main subnet uh, main route table and only this subnet which is my public subnet is associated to my public uh, route table so let's just edit subnet association going to select 10.1.2.0/24 which is right now associated to my main route table so i'm going to associate this to my public route table and save this so you can see now there are two subnets in here uh, which are in public so why they are public because this route table has a route to internet via internet gateway so now let's go and launch an ec2 instance in this subnet how we can launch an ec2 instance in our newly created subnet it's very easy uh, let's go to ec2 running instance select launch let's select any ami because we're not going to actually launch an instance go to configure instance detail so you must be very familiar with this page by now let's select our vpc which is aws SA exam and when you go down into the subnet menu you can see we have our newly created subnet present over there so either you can launch inside it to private or side it to public so both the subnets are already present here so this is as now and now going forward forward from here the process would be very same like now launching a normal ec2 instance so i just wanted to show you guys what you can do after adding a cider to your vpc so this is it for this video guys a very short one and let's continue with our network specialty course thank you for watching